Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Slipjoint Sawyer here. Today we're going to be having a quick look over two old timer knives. These are both 8OT, so which is the senior stockman. On my left we have a Chinese made one, and on the right we have an older USA made one. So we're just going to go over the differences, um, like the quality between the two, the different blade steels, and so forth. So we'll start off by taking a brief look at the Chinese made one because I have reviewed this on my channel. So as you can see, you have the saw cut, I don't believe it's Delrin anymore, but the saw cut sort of handle material, brass pins, brass shield and the nickel silver bolsters that are sort of, not sort of dyed but tinted that brassy colour. And then you have really nice back springs with brass liners, tiny gapping on this one, and again pretty much the same on the reverse, nice smooth transitions, brass pins. Middle one's a mushroom, that's the signature thing for like old timer and Uncle Henry, as that's what they use to pin them together. Does sort of avoid any sort of cracking in the handle material, so that's a really good idea. Standard sort of stockman pattern, you have the three blades, you have the spay blade, the sheep's foot blade, and then on the front you have the clip point. So that's just sort of the standard Chinese made one. This is a stainless steel one, 7CR. And then you have the Schrade Tang stamp on the front and then the model number on the back, which is the 80T. That's all the stamping you get on this one. And if I compare it up to the USA made one, see the USA made one is pretty much bang on a four inch handle. And then it's, it's like, it's just, just a hair less. And then the Chinese made one is just a hair less as well. You can also see that the serpentine shape on the Chinese made is a bit more defined. So you can see it's slightly bigger curve. As you can see, the bolster sort of angles a bit more to the left at the bottom. And then thickness of these. Practically identical thickness. What is it, about half an inch? Yeah, roughly just over half an inch wide on each. Exactly the same blade setup. So you'll have the front, you'll have the clip point, sheep's foot in the middle, and then spay blade at the rear. So we'll have a good look over this this 80T, the USA made one. Been on the hunt for one of these for a very long time. Managed, finally managed to pick one up over here in the UK. So you, you can see right off the bat that really nice saw cut Delrin. This is a used knife as well, so it has got a bit of history in it. Uh, one of the reasons why I picked it up. Those nice nickel silver bolsters, brass pins, nickel silver shield with a really nicely stamped old timer in there. All smooth, no sort of stepping, really, really well made this, especially for like an older knife as well. It stood the test of time. I believe this to be like maybe an 80s or like early 90s. I'm not too sure on the tank stamps of these. I will have to do a bit more research into that. But as you can see, fit and finish on the back, absolutely perfect. Really, really nice. You can hold it up to the light and nothing shines through. You can see there's really nice brass liners. You can see the colour transition as well on the Delrin. On the rear, you can really see that saw cut on here. Really, really nice. And again, brass pins, the mushroomed middle one to hold it together. And then the nickel silver bolsters. And then you have the long pull for the clip point blade. And we'll have a take a look at the tang stamp. So you can see this is Schrade USA 80T. And then nothing on the rear. So ignore that, it's a bit of oil. Really nice pull on this. It's definitely about a seven. Nice lock up. Absolutely no blade play at all. Rock solid. And of course, this being a USA made one and not a Schrade Plus, it is carbon steel blades. And I believe they were 1095 when they were making these. Really nice maintain, no dings at the blade. Whoever had this before definitely looked after it. Nice sharp edge on there. You can see the natural patina on the blade after use. And the rear as well. You see the little black dots of the patina. Really, really nice. 
no half stop, so just a cam tang to a nice snap on the close. We look at the sheep's foot now, and this is the most used blade on this knife. As you can see, it's had quite a lot of use. It's gone from being a straight sheep's foot to they've also been using maybe they've been using a pull through sharpener on it, but it's worn away more at the tip. You see that on the front and the rear. But again, again, still loads of life left in this 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 blade. It's a nice clean nail nick there, and you can also see the patina on this really well. It makes it a really really attractive blade. Really really nice. Cam tang again. Bit of a lighter pull on this one. I'd say that's about a five. And then the spade blade, I'd say, is about a six. And I don't think this blade's been used at all. Apologies for the oil, that's just where I was cleaning it. You can see there, nice grind on there. Patina again. Won't be cleaning this off anymore, so I'll just leave it as it is and let it age naturally. Nice blade stock on this as well. And these are the sort of spray blades I don't mind. You know, they have this very sort of subtle and then a nice little bit at the end rather than you see some of the more defined ones. There's a big old bit on the end. Nice kick on there, so you can really sort of choke up onto it and have full control over the blade. Really, really nice. So there is the USA made, and we'll just have them side by side now to look at some of the differences. So you can see the colour differences in the bolsters, the shield, and in the handle material. You can see this is, you can tell it's a much more hand sort of finish, it's all nicely rounded. The dyeing goes out, you know, it sort of dilutes into the handle. Whereas you can see on the Chinese made one, it's pretty much brown straight to the caramel colour. Again, blades, you can see both have the, the, the sort of the long pull on them. Both have three blades. And then both these examples have the nail necks for the secondary blades on the rear. Both have really nice fit and finish on the back. Maybe a tad thicker in the pocket on the Chinese made one. And the Chinese made one is stainless steel. I believe it's 7CR. So we'll take a look at the blades open on each now. So the Chinese made one, you can see the blade is measuring one, two, bang on three inches, including the tang. And then we'll take a look at the China, at the USA made one. Again, a tad shorter, but it has been used. So I'm imagining it's probably the same when it was new. So again, a three inch blade. Compare the blade stock of the main blades. Does seem to be the Chinese made one is slightly thicker, only by a hair. Let's have a look at both of the sheep's foot blades. Chinese made one you can see is two and a quarter and I believe this one's going to be quite a bit shorter as it's been used quite a lot. Uh, yeah, tad smaller, two and a quarter as well, but you can see there the, the use, the comparison of the use on these blades. This is one that's not been used that much and this is one that's been carried a hell of a lot. You can see how much of the blade has been, you know, taken away. And then we'll compare the spade blades. So you can see on the Chinese made one, you have roughly about a two, nearly a two, 2.2. .2. And then on the American one, just about a 2.2 .2 as well. So overall, the blade lengths, they do pretty much they do, um, you know, they do match up. They are pretty similar, so you could, you can tell it is the same pattern. It's made. This one's just made in China, and this is the one made in the USA. Very rare to find a USA made one here in the UK. So when I found one, I had to snatch it pretty quick, and I'm very glad I did because it's quickly becoming, I think, one of the favourite knives in my collection. Not only because you know it's USA made, but just because of the history it comes with. I do enjoy an old knife. And I just think, you know, someone's loved, cherished and carried this in their pocket, you know, and for me to get it and then be able to carry on that, that sort of love and the use of the knife rather than it just getting, you know, thrown away or hidden in a box somewhere. 
so this will be used by myself i'll make sure it gets carried as it also would be like a conversation starter you know you can pull it out and they'd be like oh that looks old yeah and you can explain where you got it from you know what sort of age it was you can show them the age related tang stamps and things it does make knives become a little bit a little bit less threatening here in the uk when there's a story behind them rather than you just pulling out a blade and people getting sort of scared of it so there you go guys that's my comparison between the chinese made old timer 80t and the usa made old timer 80t hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and i'll catch you in the next one peace